Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Russian state media announced the delivery of 10 T-72B3M main battle tanks to a mechanized infantry unit stationed in the Urals. This development underscores Russia's ongoing efforts to bolster its military capabilities amid significant losses in Ukraine. The deployment of these upgraded tanks to the Orenburg region, rather than directly to the conflict zone, raises questions about Russia's strategic priorities and logistical considerations. The T-72B3M, first showcased at the 2014 tank biathlon, remains a pivotal yet contentious element in Russia's military arsenal. This modernized version of the T-72 tank, primarily utilized by Russia and Belarus, has seen several advancements designed to enhance its combat effectiveness. These upgrades include a 2A46M5 125mm smoothbore gun, a PKTM 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and a 12.7mm NSV heavy machine gun. For protection, the tank features standard armor and relict explosive reactive armor, which is intended to counteract incoming projectiles. Despite these enhancements, the T-72B3M is not without its vulnerabilities. One of the most critical issues is the tank's autoloader and ammunition storage design. Munitions stored in the turret can be detonated by an indirect hit to the hull, causing a catastrophic jack-in-the-box effect where the turret is blown off the tank's body. This flaw, first observed during the Gulf War in 1991, remains largely unaddressed, posing significant risks to the crew and the tank's operational longevity. Weighing 45 tons, the T-72B3M can achieve a maximum speed of 60 km per hour and has an operational range of 550 km. The tank is equipped with various sophisticated systems, including night vision, a fording kit for water crossings, an overpressure NBC protection system, a laser rangefinder, a thermal sight, a ballistic computer, a panoramic sight, and an image intensifier. Operated by a crew of three, a driver, a gunner, and a commander, the T-72B3M measures 9.53 meters in length, 3.59 meters in width, and 2.22 meters in height. The recent delivery of these tanks to a unit in the Ural suggests a strategic allocation of resources within Russia's military infrastructure. Given the substantial losses Russia has endured in Ukraine, it might have been expected that these upgraded tanks would be deployed directly to the conflict zone to bolster frontline capabilities. Instead, their placement in the Orenburg region may indicate a broader strategy of regional reinforcement or preparation for potential future engagements. Russia's focus on upgrading existing tank models rather than producing new ones reflects a pragmatic approach to maintaining and enhancing its armored vehicle fleet amid ongoing military challenges. However, the decision to station these tanks far from the Ukrainian front lines highlights potential logistical or strategic considerations that are not immediately apparent. In conclusion, while the delivery of upgraded T-72B3M tanks represents a boost to the Russian military's hardware, the decision not to deploy them to Ukraine immediately underscores the complexities and evolving nature of Russia's military strategy. The T-72B3M's continued use, despite known vulnerabilities, reflects both the strengths and limitations of Russia's armored capabilities in the current geopolitical landscape. That's all for now, see you later.